Now, the last point of interest that we want to show in this uh, network view is the time slider. Uh, if you may recall, we activated the time slider with Western dates on this, and we can see that the network contains events between 1782 and 1837, so quite a long time. And you can move around the time slider. So if you wanted to only show the um, first uh, years of the network, and as you can see, while we do that, uh, lines um, start disappearing. And if we drop it off like this, so for example, only 1782 to 1802, and uh, we let go of it, it takes a little bit of time to drop them. But you can see now that the persons who were not meeting or exchanging anything with Fleischer in this time period are now uh, dropped from the network. Now, this will also reflect uh, down in the stats below, as you can see. Now we have only 526 nodes and uh, 2,192 edges in the network. And you can, of course, further restrict this by also moving the start date. So, for example, only 1799 to uh, 1802 is still a lot of um, edges, 970. And um, just for demonstrations, we can use this for one year and then start an animation of just the selected time period. The number in seconds here is just a rough estimation. It may take longer or shorter than that, but uh, let's try it with this network view. So on each day, as you can see, um, that we go through right here, the connections are highlighted in green. There are now some thicker lines between people, which means that they have more interactions with each other than other pairs. And um, yeah, this is a slow process. So this might also be more useful in uh, smaller networks or in ones with uh, less nodes and edges. Let's stop the animation right now because this takes quite some time. Now I just reset the network like this so we can show the full network. So we have seen what clicking on a person does. It shows the info view. Let's just briefly talk about that. Um, this one allows you to show the person in a graph, which is quite self-explanatory. You can also show the database entry by clicking on this. You could also use this to highlight um, a path between two any two persons in the network. Um, in this network, it's uh, quite simple because most of the connections or all of them go through Raishizu because she is the center of the network. This is a functionality that becomes interesting if we look at, at aggregates of multiple networks, for example, to see, okay, what's the uh, fastest way to go from one person to another person? So we will not uh, demonstrate this here. Uh, below that, you have some basic information on the person, on their centrality measures, which we will not discuss, and then see how many other people this one is connected to. And in the tabular view, you can see in brackets how many events there are connecting those two people. So for example, Daishizu has 746, sorry, 756 connections with her husband, Lai Shunsui. Clicking on this symbol right here would now move the network to center around Dai Shunsui. And we can see he is right here in the middle with a small image. Now let's click on him. And Dai Shunsui himself is connected to 199 persons in this network. But let's move over again to Dai Shizu. And if we now click on the name Dai Shunsui here, 
we would open a view where we can see all the associated events between those people. Um, now, 756 is a lot of events, so uh, we go by 50 events at a time. You can choose to load more and more if you want. Uh, this is just to give you um, basically a source for each um, event that the network is based on. And from this view, you can also show the event details in a, a separate tab. Now, what you could also do to get that exact same view is to click on a line, which we will, will do right here because they are more easily discernible. So for example, if we click on this line, we can see that these are the events between Daishizu again and Aokiyadayu. And these are only three events, but this is the exact same view we would get if we, uh, as the one I showed just before. So I think this covers it for the basics of the network. Um, in other videos of the series, we will also look at other ways of um, constructing net networks by uh, using different seed person selection methods. So see you then. <laughs>